Hi everybody, Ben Harvey here from Tackle Depot. We're here today to talk a bit about chatter baits. It's one of the hottest baits out there. It's probably the newest thing in the past five years that's really caught on as a, as a craze, but um, I want to start off by kind of talking about the three different styles of chatter baits or sizes, and then we'll talk a little bit about what you can do with them and then how you can dress them up. So the first obvious three is the standard uh, chatter bait. There's, this is what we've all come to uh, kind of expect and use. We say chatterbait, that was, you know, Z-Man's patented name for it, trademarked, you'll also call it a uh, vibrating swim jig or different things like that, but we've kind of all earmarked it now as the chatterbait. Um, but this is your standard one, you're just going to tie it on and you're going to swim it back, you're going to take it over top of the weeds, uh, lots of anglers find it great to just take it on along the top of a weed bed and, and take the top of the weeds and as soon as they feel it, give it a burst, pop it through, it adds a little extra action and sometimes triggers that bite. The next style is almost a football style. Now this one's made um, in conjunction with Freedom Tackle and Z-Man, so there's obviously tons of great innovation built into this. But uh, this football style, what a lot of anglers are doing is they're casting it out, they're letting it sit on bottom, and because it's so heavy and designed to, to stay so deep, when it hits bottom, they pop it off. And it seems like uh, uh, some kind of bait fish or, or prey coming off the bottom and, and doing a, a, a quick spurt of energy and then resting on bottom again. So especially in deep holes and different spots when they know the fish are feeding down on the bottom, you can cast that out and you can pop it off, let it come to rest again, pop it off, and it just seems to give a completely different presentation and drive fish wild. The last is I guess we're heading into the micro side of things. So here's one out by Punisher Jigs. Um, and I'm sure there's many more to follow. I know that uh, Z-Man also makes a mini chatterbait, but with it being this successful, making something a little smaller, a little more finesse, a little perfect for the smallmouth, um, of course, that's going to draw everybody's attention. Smallmouth seem to really hammer it, but the problem is with some of these other chatterbaits, we've built them more or less for largemouth, bigger hooks, harder to get the hook into them. So kudos to them for coming out with a nice micro version that we're going to be able to fish smallies on. Um, so that's a bit about the first or, or some of the chatterbaits here, um, probably the three most recognizable. Of course, there's going to be other uh, inventions and innovations in this category, but those are the three main ones. Um, what we've seen happen the most is if you take any chatterbait, depending on what you're trying to accomplish, you might want to dress it up. So some of the more popular ways to dress it up is something like this net bait kick and bee. I absolutely love this bait. I throw it on my uh, on my swim jigs. I throw it on my chatter baits. But you know, simply with him, we're just going to take them, and you're going to slide your hook up through, and you're going to hook it. What you get is just an unbelievable amount of action as these paddle their way in behind it. So that's one looking presentation that you can do with it. The next is to take something like. Uh, a swim bait with a great big paddle tail on the back of it and obviously we're going to again hook it through the nose and have a presentation similar to that. It just upsizes your bait and gives it a whole bunch more action. Now a lot of anglers will actually take that swim bait and cut it down. They might take three, four, five ribs off the back just to tighten everything up and make it so it's not too long. Um, I'd say probably on this one I'd take five ribs back and make a nice, perfect presentation bait for it. Um, so don't be afraid to trim your swim baits down to get the right fit. Um, as I said, most anglers that I know that are doing this are trimming them down somewhat just to make the presentation perfect on it. But that's kind of an opening guide of some of the things that you can do with the chatter baits. Again, it's, uh, it's a fantastic bait. It seems to be catching a lot of fish. It replaced a lot of uh, spinner baits in, in certain anglers tangle tackle boxes. I still have a, a place in my heart for the, the spinner bait, certain windy days, conditions, things like that, but certainly every time I set out on the water, I have a chatter bait turn, tied on and I probably have it in two different colors. I probably have it in something like a white, which is extremely popular, 3 8 um, for where I'm fishing. And then I've got the big heavy tied on, something to go down deep, maybe a, a black, a black blue, something like that. So um, just a little insight from us here at Tackle Depot. Some things to try this, this season when we're coming up. I know we had a great live interview with uh, Dr. Bruce Tufts where we talked a lot about the early season for bass fishing. And 
last year in our experience we absolutely crushed them on the chatterbait so if it's not something that you've tried if it's not something that's in your box already this might be something you want to add to your boat and try this spring thanks for tuning in guys appreciate all your support